Okay, I'm Geodav and in this video what we're going to do is carry on from the little bit that was annoying me at the end of the last video. And uh, what little bit was that he, you say? Uh, just in case you haven't watched the other video, here we go. Drop the vehicle in. Run over a bump. Oh, look. Uh, no. Let's get in a bit where my camera doesn't get messed up by. Move slowly forward. And you see the wheel pops up over the block, but the axis doesn't follow it. Axis. Axle. Axis. Axle. Okay, so how do we fix that? Alright, let's go into the content browser. Grab the ABP car for UE4 and what is it? It's the animation blueprint. Now this is a very basic animation bl blueprint for vehicles. Yeah, for wheel vehicles because we've got the wheel handler. So all we have to do here is pull out a wire, skeletal controls and a look at. Now what is a look at? As you see here down here we've got bone to modify bone to look at now as pin look at locate you can modify the locations and what axis now we've got four wheels so instead of going wire 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 I'm going to select that copy paste paste that is there we go four that gets it off <laughs> <laughs> bees knees. Right, let's just wire these up. Straight component pose, component pose, component pose, component pose, and think. There we go. Don't forget, keep on compiling. I'll show you why in a moment because I'm going to do a mistake. And we're going to go, ah, and I'll show you why. Right, look at, like I say, a look at is all you're doing is controlling what the, this bone's orientation is going to be looking at and wants to follow. So, we need to know what bone we're going to modify, as it says here. And we're going to go for the uh, front, left hand front suspension. All right, click preview out today, click to recompile. I'll do that in a moment. Now, the bone that we want to look at is obviously the front, left hand front wheel. You like that? Yeah, smash it. Ah, preview. Still telling us. Now, if I click preview, you will notice that the, the axle is flipped because it's looking at the positive Y. So if I go down here, switch the Y to negative, recompile, and it's back. Now why that's the Y, I mean personally I would have thought it would be looking at the Z axis. As the Z goes up, that would be but I don't know, maybe it's because the axis that it's actually turning on would be the Y axis or whatever, I don't know. If you're not too sure, just keep playing, which is how I did it. Let's see, right hand, no, let's see, I keep on doing this. Right hand front suspension, looking at the right hand front wheel, and we'll leave that as a Y, because that is correct. Let's go to the uh, left hand rear suspension, looking at the left hand rear wheel, and we have to set that one to negative Y, and it's uh, right hand rear suspension to right hand rear wheel and press compile. You see it just twitch out a little bit 
shows that my mesh wasn't quite set up correctly. So we'll save that, go out, close that down, in here. Now, if you saw when, I'll just exit again. Now when I press play, watch the vehicle and watch the wheels and axis, because when the vehicle comes in, it drops down slightly and then you can see everything move. Dink. Very nice. Let's move forward quickly, well quickly, slowly and you can see it popping up over the, the little block that I put in there. Okay, so that's working nicely and we're happy. You even get a little bit of lean on things when cornering. The suspension sort of moves. Not perfect. I mean, I know how suspension is supposed to work, but uh, for a game engine, it's fine. You can, like I say, you can you can look at the advanced vehicle template for a more complicated system. But if that's pretty much all you need, all you want, then you can get away with just a couple of look ats and off you go. Okay then. Quite happy about that. Any questions, catch me on the forums. I do have a support thread if you find it. It is uh, somewhere not been touched for months, but uh, I'm quite happy to help you out if you need it. Okay then. So, see you soon.